Welcome to Clary Tale and welcome to this huge American haul. Let me just show you the uh, the amount of stuff I've got. Let me show you these bags. Oh. We have got stuff from Bath and Body Works, American Eagle, Nike, Apple, uh, Walt Disney World of course, Old Navy and Target for all the American goodies. Let's uh, let's start this. So let's start with Oreos. That seems like a good place to start. Uh, we love it when Oreos bring out funky flavours and Simon's sister kindly picked up for us the salted caramel brownie. They look interesting. And then the apple cider donut. These are limited edition ones. They sound amazing we always get pop tarts and check out the new flavors as well so i've picked up some for my brother and for us we've got pretzel cinnamon sugar they look interesting and then we've got these kellogg's ego frosted maple not sure how i feel about those and then finally we got the lemon cream pie i bought these for my brother to try so hopefully he'll like those no trip to America is complete without getting some Ghirardellis. So I got some caramel squares and my friend Josh picked up some white chocolate caramel squares as well. And then I bought this for my mum. She loves the raspberry flavor Ghirardellis. I wish you could get these in the UK, just my favorite chocolate. Usually we'd pick up a load of funky flavored M&Ms as well, but the only ones we could see were the uh, sugar cookie ones and I've had those before. So I didn't pick those up, but I did get a load of caramel M&Ms for my whole family. I'm gonna give them all a packet each for Christmas. And then as well, uh, I found some peanut mix M&Ms. So it's dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate peanut all in one packet. So I thought that was pretty cool. My dad will love them. I picked up a load of uh, Twix Santas for for my family as well. If you've not tried these, you've just got to. The chocolate proportion is so much more than an actual Twix. Um, yeah, so try them, they're so good. And then Simon picked these up. So he found these Reese's in a Wawa. So this one has crisps in it, so potato chips inside the actual cup. And then these ones have pretzels inside. We picked up some Andes mints. These are really, really nice. If anyone's been to Cracker Barrel, you can get these after your meal for like 25 cents. So I've bought a little box of them because I know my family are missing those. And then finally, we've got a load of Hershey packets. The first packet is this mint truffle Hershey kisses. So it's just full of mint, really tasty. And then these are my favorite um, Hershey hugs. They're basically Hershey's chocolate wrapped in white chocolate. So it just makes it really sweet, just how I like it. They're not special for Christmas or anything, but they just have some Christmassy foil on for those. And then we've got some candy cane kisses. I love these, these are only out at Christmas time. Uh, they're just peppermint bark, basically, in a Hershey's Kiss. And then finally, we've got some Hershey's Peppermint Bark Bells. Josh picked these up for me. I couldn't find them anywhere, so I'm so thankful to him. Uh, they are delicious. So we're gonna have a really nice Christmas with all these goodies. And then I got some funky Mountain Dew flavors. You all know how much I love Mountain Dew. I have had a whole crate of normal Mountain Dew on this trip. It's just my absolute favorite. Uh, but there's some funky flavors. So we've got gingerbread snapped, which is here just for Christmas. And then I got the voodoo one as well. Uh, this was for Halloween, I believe. It tastes so nice. It tastes like Skittles, this one. So, so good. So that's it on the American candy and drinks front. Let's move on to the next shop. So I'm gonna show you our most expensive purchase next and a little touch of Disney as well. So while we were in Texas, we treated ourselves to the latest phones. So Simon got the 13 
Pro Max and I got the 13 Pro and just already the difference between the phones that I had before it's just unbelievable we were able to both trade in our phones for these phones which was great as well and um, but just the camera quality and I've got so much more space now and the battery life I've not been charging it every night like I usually do uh, so yeah so glad to get some new phones and the hint of Disney our phone cases so I picked up the 50th anniversary phone case I love it so much I love the color and it's got all the characters there and a little dumbbell and then Simon wanted a Mandalorian case of course he did and he picked up this one and it's got a little baby Yoda on how cute is that so very pleased with those next up Bath and Body Works a trip to America is not complete without visiting Bath and Body Works although they are in the UK now so maybe not as exciting uh, but I got all the Christmas scents just because it's not very often we come here at Christmas time so I wanted to make sure I got all the sort of non-standard smells so I've got the Frosted Coconut Snowball this smells incredible it smells like suntan cream so it's just got memories of holidays and I actually picked one up for my brother as well I did the six for $27 I think it was I picked up winter berry ice so this is ice cherries orange and snowy lime and he picked up peppermint sugar cookie which is peppermint vanilla butter soft sugar cookies it says and then winter citrus wreath and this is really citrusy and foresty it says and then this one smells so strong this is the iced cinnamon rolls so they should be amazing can't beat bath and body Works soap i love it so much i got a few christmasy t-shirts and pajamas from old navy i haven't got the pajamas here i've already packed those but these are the t-shirts jolly vibes and then it says love with a little hot chocolate on it so they were my little Christmas t-shirts from Old Navy and then got a few bits from American Eagle as well I always get my jeans from American Eagle they just always fit so well uh, I don't like high-rise jeans so I got two pairs of low-rise jeans I got black ones and then navy ones which I've already packed and then I got this very Canadian lumberjack type of jumper well it's a shirt it's buttoned all the way down uh, but it's got a hood as well so I thought this would be really nice for winter in the UK Simon's brother and sister-in-law kindly got me some gorgeous goodies from Williams Sonoma it's a really nice shop here in America it's a bit like John Lewis I'd say and um, this is a gorgeous Mickey Disney mug it says all you need is a smile and it's got a lovely classic Mickey on it and then I got this Minnie Mouse spatula it's so cool to go with these pancake molds there's a Mickey a bow we've got a Mickey hand and a Minnie Mouse with a bow as well so they're gonna be so cute I've got to make some Minnie Mouse pancakes when I get home I picked up this gorgeous dress for my little niece from Uniqlo how cute is that she's gonna love it it's such good quality it's kind of like that velvet velour type quality and it's got Rapunzel on it that says light my own dreams and then the last shop I got things from before I show you all the Disney goodies is Nike so I picked up some Nike shorts these were two for twenty dollars or one pair for twenty five dollars so of course I had to get two pair it's only in America would that kind of offer be on and um, I got this really nice uh, gym crop top and I got some leggings some Nike black leggings oh no can you see yeah it's got the word Nike down the leg and then I also got some sort of jogging bottoms as well that say Nike on sort of a bit like lounge pants and then finally some Nike trainers which I've needed for ages my black trainers are completely worn out and I got some very similar to the ones I've already got because I know how comfortable and lovely they are and finally all the Disney merch so I got these little tote bags 
for the 50th anniversary little reusable bags so that one and then the smaller one as well I just love them they're so good I probably won't want to use them <laughs> because they're so nice I bought this t-shirt from uh, the world of Disney you might have already seen it in my Disney vlogs it's a retro Walt Disney World sort of t-shirt they have a yellow one which is nice as well uh, but I went for this one with this lovely greeny teal color and I also got this Christmassy shirt. I wanted to wear it while out here, but actually it was just far too warm, but I can wear it at home. It's a long sleeved denim shirt and it's got Mickey and Minnie. It's so nice. I went for a large so that it would be a bit longer uh, because they are quite short. So love that. That would be really nice to wear at Christmas time. I also got a spirit jersey. Of course I did. I had to get a spirit jersey and it's this fluffy Sherpa material. It's so nice. It's lovely and warm as well. It's got Mickey's on and then on the back it's got Walt Disney World in silver. I love this because most spirit jerseys are quite sort of baggy and light whereas this is more like a proper jumper so I'll really get some good use out of this in England. I picked up the 50th glow in the dark ears that are rechargeable. They're so pretty. They've got gems on them as well and a gold bow and then you charge them up there's a little rechargeable bit here and it comes with the cable so that's clever. And then my friend Josh picked up a magnet, a Star Wars magnet for Simon. And then he got me this Dumbo sticker. I love it so much. I didn't actually get any Dumbo merch on this trip. So I'm glad I've got this. Thank you, Josh. Speaking of Star Wars, we got the uh, Coca-Cola and Sprite thermal detonators from there. Very overpriced, but very cool. Look at that so fun. I've actually been refilling mine as well for other days. And then the last few items I got some pins. So this is the 50th pin with Donald and Daisy. And then I also picked up a Coronado Springs pin uh, to signify our anniversary meal that we had there because we loved it so much. Um, I did get a pin in Texas as well. So I got the Hard Rock Houston pin. Uh, we saw the Hard Rock Cafe at Houston Airport. So I had to pick up this pin. And then last pin, I found an MGM Studios pin when we went to Winter Garden. It was in this cabinet of older pins and it was only $10. And it's the Earful Tower and if you can see there it says MGM Studios so I absolutely had to get that. Oh I also picked up some earrings as well so I wear these all the time as they're starting to discolor a little bit so I've got my March Mickey earrings and these are actually slightly bigger Mickeys as well and March my birthstone aquamarine and my favorite color so they are perfect. And then a couple of things that I didn't uh, purchase, but I had to show you. The tickets all have 50th anniversary and it's the gold statues that are dotted around the park. I'm gonna keep hold of these. They're so cool. So you've got Figment, we've got a Coco, R2D2 Star Wars, Finding Nemo as well with Dory. Love those. And then as well, lastly, I did pick up a couple of 50th anniversary maps from each of the parks. I've got a set for me to keep, but I've also picked up a set for one of you guys. If you would like me to send you these, let me know below. Just put the comment park maps so that I know it's something you'd like. And I'll pick one of you at random just to send them to you. I know a lot of people aren't able to come to the parks at the moment, so I would love to have a little bit of magic sent to you. So just put a comment below and I'll private message one of you at random to get your address and I'll send these over to you. So it's been a couple of months now, it's March. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the Disney haul and seeing the Florida series in general. I will put a link to the whole playlist in case you missed any of those videos. But I just wanted to end this video with this month's Boxu box. Boxu have kindly sponsored this part of the video. I'm gonna put ad up here and I'm 
really excited to show you this particular box. So if you don't know, Boxu are a premium monthly subscription box full of Japanese snacks and each month they send out a brand new themed box and this month is cherry blossom themed. In Japan they call it sakura season and it's an incredibly popular time to visit Japan because it is covered in all these beautiful cherry blossom trees and one day if I ever get to go back I would love to go this time of year and see them in full bloom. We went in September so unfortunately we didn't get to see all the beautiful cherry blossom trees. Right let's have a little look inside this box. If you like the look of it um, I've got a discount code it's a Clary Tale 10 I'll put it here it gets you 10% off your subscription. I'll put the link below as well so you can check it out see if you like the look of it let's open it this is the prettiest themed box i love it sakura season this is the leaflet inside the leaflet it'll tell you everything about the snacks uh, what they contain where they're from and a bit of their origin story as well oh look how beautiful that is the significance of sakura oh it tells you about the cherry blossoms look how stunning japan is this time of year that's where they all are from in japan it even teaches you a little bit of japanese as well so this is everything that was inside this box i say it every single time but you just get so many snacks in this box so there's savory there's sweet just look at the packaging as well just the theming with all the sakura what are these sakura sweet cookies this is going to be my favorite box i know it i'll quickly flick through the leaflet so you can see what's included in the box it really does look good this month so we've got the ume rice cracker that's your plum this is the sakura jelly look at that so cool then we've got strawberry milk marshmallows fujisan rice crackers and they've all got different flavors got these how good are they we've got mochi always got to have mochi we've got cookies here strawberry chocolate mochi plum kelp i actually call my best friend kelp and she's got this subscription so that's going to be funny when she sees that uh, spicy mentai burdock chips so that's those oh look at these shortbread cookies they're flavored colored shaped like a cherry blossom they look amazing white gummies i'm gonna really like those we've got seaweed wrapped rice crackers a sakura sweet cookie look they've got a little um cherry blossom on the cookie itself and then we've got a treat coated in soy sauce sweetened with honey wow and then lastly this boucher this is actually massive look at the size of that it is a small pastry with a sweet filling and they've got cherry blossom on top and inside is sweet and soft cream infused with aromatic cherry juice wow and then this is the tea that's paired with it you want to try one of those yeah my dad is here to try some of these snacks we've got the peach gummies all these look nice oh they're little hearts very oh, nice. That's nice. Very strong, but mm. well, that's lovely. They're really nice. Should we go for these strawberry marshmallows? Yeah, that sounds <laughs> good. These are the strawberry marshmallows. Oh, they're lovely. I know they're nice. Those peach ones, aren't oh. they? They just have they have peach flavored things and melon flavored things, and they're just so nice. Mm. You don't get that over here. No, don't get right. it. Peach very often. So what's this though? This yeah. is a strawberry marshmallow. Strawberry marshmallow. You could drop these in your coffee oh, or your hot, hot chocolate. I'm gonna do that. Do you want another oh, one? I'll have one more. They're lovely. I'm gonna do that. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Oh, that's nice. And this is a, a short brand. Yeah, and it um, tastes like cherry blossom. Okay, do you want me to have part oh, of that sure. one? Though? Yeah. Thanks. Mm. So nice. Mm. 
very fresh. This box, this theme, finishes on March 31st, so I highly recommend getting this box before then so that you get to try the Sakura theme because it's definitely my favourite themed box so far. You know my discount code and I'll put the link in the description. Do let me know if you try it and I'm going to leave you now with the me in Florida to finish this video. Stay tuned for next week though because I'm hoping to get the Copenhagen vlog up for next week. So thank you so much for watching this huge haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything we picked up. Please like this video if you did, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Bye! Make your memories, make your memories, take your pictures, make your memories.